Hey guys, it's ONMS, and I haven't been posting lately because I'm sick. So today we're gonna take a break on the nerdy investment stuff that only really cringe skin-loving idiots make, and I'm gonna be making my own CSGO case. This will be the official ONMS case, and will include the most epic skins on the workshop. But first, I have a giveaway going for this Desert Eagle print stream in the sm 4 a 4 and it's ending on the 24th. So if you want info on how to join, I'll leave the link in the pinned comment. Also today's video is sponsored by SkinsMonkey, an epic site where you can easily trade your boring skins away for cooler ones in a safe and effective way. And if you use code ONMS like an absolute chad, you'll be given a special bonus on your trade all the way up to $5, which is literally a free AK slate. You'll also get an extra $5 on the already existing 30% deposit bonus, link will be in the description. Thank you SkinsMonkey. Now back to the video. If you know anything about CSGO cases, you'll know that sometimes the skins added aren't the greatest, so hopefully, this inspires Valve to add some of these skins into future cases. Now let's get started. Our first blue has to be the op Jaeger. This unironically might be my favorite op skin because of its simplicity, but also its normal mapped into looking like someone carved it out of a chunk of wood. Blue number 2 is the Emperor one SCS dash. Blue number 3 is the P90 banana mode. I feel like this skin has to be added to the game because of how vile it looks. And I'm not trying to say that this is a bad skin. I'm just trying to say that this shit's nasty. Blue number 4 is the P2000 arachnophobia. I love it when skin creators put a face on the back of the gun, and this one does it better than any other skin. The only problem I have with it is that the hammer makes the face look sad, but honestly it makes it 10 times better. Blue number 5 has to be the Glock 18 50-50. Why? Because I'm done with my teammates always doing stupid ass callouts when I could just flip a Glock to figure out where I'm rushing. As we saw in the recent major, anything about Counter Strike is luck based, and everything is a gamble, so it doesn't matter if I go A or B. I go where the Glock tells me to go. Now starting off with our first purple, we have the Glock 18 50 by Eco. You might be asking, why is this skin a purple when it's basically the same thing as the last skin? Let's be honest, who cares if I go A or B? Either way, I'm gonna kill. But this skin takes Counter-Strike to the next level because instead of Valve having control of my money in real life, Valve will control my money in game as well. Purple 2 is the Glock 18 cow. Purple number 3 is the P2000 Octopus. This octopus smiling at the fact that he's about to smoke this fish with a seashell or whatever this thing is, might be the hardest skin in the existence of Counter-Strike. And for our one and only pink, we have the P90 Puppernickel Bread. Shit's crazy. And our first red, it's the Excalibur Chrome M4A1S. This skin is beautiful. The normal mapping on its finer details really makes this skin pop and brings color to the dim world of Counter-Strike. The beautiful purples and touches of blue layered with two gold crowns and one gold sword paint a picture of a gentle but strong king, ready to fight any person dumb enough to cross him or his people. Red number two is the AK-47 Royal Platinum Gold because it makes the gold arabesque look terrible. And now it's time for our honorable mentions. The Sticker Monitor Lenticular and the R8 Revolver Clay. And for our rare and special item, I'd add every single Counter-Strike knife to this case and make it 10 times easier to get so that my case single-handedly destroys the market. Thanks for watching, please subscribe. Please subscribe, please subscribe, please subscribe, please subscribe.